In this video, we're going to look at how we can use percents to solve problems. There are two main ways that are used to solve percent problems, and in this video, we're going to focus on one of them, which is called translating the percent problem. And the whole idea behind translating the percent problem is to identify these key words in the English sentence and translate them into a mathematical equation. There are four key words that we're going to look at here today. The first is the word what. We use what when we don't know what we're talking about, and in math, when you don't know what we're talking about, that's our variable, or our x. The second key word we're going to look for is the word is. When something is the same as something else, we could say that it is equal to something, and in fact, for equals, for is, we can use any conjugation of the verb to be, is, were, was, would be, will be, all those different tenses, past, future, conditional, of, is, or to be, they all mean equals. The next key word that we often associate, of, quickly will become multiplication. It's a multiplication problem. And finally, percent, per 100, as a decimal, 0.01. So what we're going to do is look at a couple examples and see if we can make these translations and come up with a math equation. We're not going to solve them right now. I just want to focus on this new concept of translating the English sentence into a math equation. So here we want to know what percent of 16 is 10. The word what, we can quickly translate to the unknown x. Percent, percent as a decimal, is 0 0.01. Of, we said of, we'll always translate as multiplication, our multiplication dot, 16. Well, 16's already a number, so we don't have to do any translating. That's already mathy. Is. Is, we said, translates to equals. And finally, 10, already a number, goes right into our equation. And what we've done is we've created an equation we could use to answer the question, what percent of 16 is 10? x times 0 0.01 times 16 equals 10. Solving that for x would tell us our solution. Let's try one more where we translate the problem, still not solving it, just practicing on this translating idea. 30 is 47 percent of what? Well, 30 is already a number, so we don't have to do any translating there. Is, we know translates into an equal sign. 47, that's already a number. Percent, percent as a decimal is 0 0.01. Of, of is your multiplication. And finally, what? What is our variable? We now have an equation we could use to answer the question, 30 is 47 percent of what? We would use the equation, 30 equals 47 times 0 0.01 times x, and we could solve then for our variable. When translating these equations, if we can identify these four key words and what they mean, we can quickly change a percent problem into a percent equation, which we could then solve.